so hello everyone in today's video i should be sharing with you different things to put into consideration before choosing a crop to plant you know there is one reason behind going into a business going into a business is to make money and not for the sake of passion and for us to make money in farming activities there are a lot of things to put into consideration so in today's video i should be sharing with you different things to consider before choosing a crop to plant so in case you are returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back and if you are new here please kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel you can also check the pay comments and click on the link there to subscribe to this channel so thank you so much for the love at least show your love to this channel by subscribing to it so like i said earlier in today's video i should be sharing with you different things to put into consideration before choosing a crop to plant and the first one here is market which is very important before choosing a crop that you want to farm you should have make a market research that there is a market for the crops that you want to plant in your locality or not. If there is no market for it, why not going for the crop that you know that there is market for it in your locality? You know, if you plant and at the end of the planting and the likes, so you don't get a market for it. What is now the hindrance of planting that particular crop? So before you choose a crop to plant, consider the market. Is the crop does it have market in your area? Does it have demand in your area? So those are the things to consider before choosing a crop to plant. Or does your farm not so far to the market that you can easily sell it? You know, if your farm is too far to where you can get market for it, that means the cost of transportation is going to collect everything you have to hang on it. So those are the things you have to consider. If you know that your farm is too far to so the place that you can market it, why not going for a crop that you know that you can easily get market for it very close to your farm. So you have to put that into consideration. Make a market research before choosing a crop that you want to plant. So the second thing here is the seasonality. Before choosing a crop to plant, you have to consider the seasonality. You know there are some crops that it has season so and there are some crop that it can be planted at any time of the year provided that there is irrigation but if you know that you don't have irrigation system on your farm you have to consider the seasonality but you have to time yourself based on the weather condition but you have irrigation system on your farm that will be on the river side you know a lot of crop now can be it can be planted provided that there is irrigation but if you know that you don't have irrigation you have to consider the seasonality your family have to based on the weather condition you have to prepare yourself against the dry season against the rainy season and the like so your family activities will base on the seasonality on the weather condition but if you have irrigation system on your farm that will be a nice idea because most of the crop now can be farmed provided that there is irrigation so the third one here is the price and like i said earlier that the reason behind go into a business is to make money and not for the sake of passion if you have a crop to plant you have to work with the price that does the price that you are going to sell it does it worth all the efforts that you are going to put in before it can reach the maturity stage you have to consider that one maybe the price that you are going to sell it maybe it's going to worth it or not and we all know that there are times that the the farm produce will just be the, the price will just reduce in the market maybe due to the surplus or other some reason but you have to work against it like maybe you have to make your home production not to fall into the surplus period so you have to work with that so the next one here is the eat so before planting any crop you have to work on the seed that you want to plant you have to make sure that you go for a good seed as for people that has already been planting that particular crop because if you go for a lesser seed that cannot give you high yield there is no way you will make much money from it and for you to make much money from it that means you have to go for seed with of high fallow so even though you've not planted that particular crop before you can ask from people that has already been planting it ask from them so that that you can earn high yield at the end of the planting and not that at the end of the activities and the likes the yield will not worth your effort so you have to work with that before 
planting at all so the next one here is maturity you have to consider the maturity period of a particular crop that you want to plant you know there are crop that can be harvested within three months of planting within four months of planting and there are crop that it can be harvested within six months within a year of planting so you have to consider the maturity period maybe you are in need of money now and you have maize on farm you can easily put your mind on it that in the next three months i should harvest my maize and, and the money that i held from it but is going to offer this project and you yet yeah, that you have maize on the farm you cannot compare yourself to someone that has plant that is going to spend a year be before reaching the harvesting period so you have to consider all those stuff the maturity they are product that can be cultivated twice in a year once in a year so we have to consider all those stuff before choosing a crop to farm so the last one here is the popularity you have to consider the popularity of the crop that you want to plant you know if the crop is popular that means it has so much uses it and once it has so more uses it's going to have high demand so you have to consider the popularity of a crop that you want to plant that's for you to have great market for it and as well make good money from it you know you cannot compare the demand of maize to wheat the demand of maize is so much more than the demand of wheat so before choosing a crop to farm you have to consider all those stuff very well so that big marketing needs is not going to be difficult for you and as well for you to make a good money from it so this is going to be the end of this video and in case you've been getting value so far just make sure you give this video a thumbs up and as well if you have not subscribed please do so to subscribe to this channel you can click on the subscribe button or check the pink comments and click on the link there to subscribe to this channel so thank you so much for watching